Hey everyone, let's play some Monster Train. Alright, so we've got a path to pick. We're continuing this delightful run with our Hellhorned Stygian deck. And we are on um, Ring 7, almost to the end. So we could improve our units, restore Pyre Health, or do go to the concealed caverns or we could buy an artifact remove some cards and get some cash um i think i've really done a lot to improve my units um so i don't think that's going to help me let me see if there's any cards that i want to dump honestly i think i can get rid of some torches i think i'll get rid of a torch and another train like plain um train steward Oh, yeah, yeah. Remove that. And then remove that. Perfect. And then, let's get the money first. Remember, at least I'm just talking out loud to myself, you can do these in any order, even though the track um, suggests otherwise, and even though normally trains can't go backwards. Just don't worry about that. Just understand that you can click these in any order. So let's get the money first before we see what's on sale. Um, I love stuff like this. This is like what is in Slate Aspire called the Ice Cream Cone. And it'll let me conserve Ember between turns. So if I don't use all my Ember, it carries over. And then for my X cards, for example, I can just devastate stuff. This is cool. Plus two attack on Slay. I mean, it's not bad, but I like this. And a bonus to Pyre Health with the other one. I mean, um... Stuff like that, in my opinion, is only prolonging the inevitable. Um, but maybe there's cases where you would be excited about that. Like if your pyre was really low and you needed to get a little bit of... I don't know. But for me, I'm not super pumped about it. Okay. I like the language that she speaks. She's just like... Blah, blah, blah. Kind of like a Charlie Brown parent. Alright, so we can... Um give ourselves multi-strike 4 and 20 armor or the slay bonus and start doing 25 times 3 damage hmm I think I'm actually going to swerve this way for now and um, 5 multi-strike or 5 attacks in one turn is pretty nuts um, if I just give him like plus 4 three attack then it's a difference of 15 damage whereas here it's only nine so it scales big time but um the base damage increase and the opportunity to have a slay trigger i think makes this cooler right now to try out all right let's see what you got battle oh it's the penitent only the penitent man shall pass. Um, I usually hate having um, enemy units enter with 20 armor because you can't snipe them with spells as easily. But if I look at my deck, what spells would I want to snipe them with? Frozen lances, I guess. But they're limited to only the front enemy, and quite often they put the guys with low hit points who can who have high DPS in the back. So Frozen Lance isn't really good against them. Um, Horn Break has piercing, so the armor is not important. And then I do have this torch, but it does 22 damage. So if some dude had one health, that would still kill him. I'm going to try it because 400 coins is a lot. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, so 160 health and 10 health. All right, this is fun. Um, how much damage are you guys doing? 11 total? If I drop this and this and throw Ritual of Battle on the Hornbreaker Prince, 
Um, putting it on her is arguably better, but if I get it on him, it'll guarantee that he'll start triggering that slay bonus. I'm just going to put these out here for now, right? And then... Yeah, 71 times 3 means... It'll unfortunately take all three of his attacks to kill that guy, but she'll clean up and kill the other dude. So we'll be fine. He does take 11 damage, which is not nothing. Okay. So luckily he doesn't enter with the armor bonus. See, and also this Pyre Chomper with my... Unbroken Horn is just a busted combination, because I can just play him whenever. In fact, I can just play him here to take, you know, the full brunt of the attack damage from this guy. So he's going to absorb 8 health and give us 4 Ember that never goes away. I think if I put this... Um, yeah, I can just discard this, bop here, and then throw this guy for free up here and then put this on my Hornbreaker Prince and it just it's starting to become um, outrageous. So this guy can easily kill that dude and get us 100 money. So we're going to get 100 coins there plus the 400 if we complete this. This is going pretty well so far. We're going to discard this card. And then with my 9 Ember um... I mean, this guy is just off the charts insane. And he'll get the slay bonus. I think he might actually get the slay bonus for both of these. Let me see how that works out. Um, let's If he goes up to 125, I'll know I got both of them. Yeah, he got it for both. That's ridiculous. Okay, so... Well, let's just give this to my dude. Well, she might benefit from it more. Um, now, he's times three, though. There we go. Now we kill them all. And... Yeah, let's just start putting down insane units. Uh, we'll put this guy in front. And then this floor becomes just ridiculous with these dudes. Wow, we even have Ember to play this, but I'm going to save my Ember because it carries over. There's no reason to play it. It doesn't kill the guy to prevent the damage dealt. All right, I need to do something to save him. March of Shields seems pretty insane right here. It's kind of waiting for this. Um, so now she has more health and he'll just get to stay doing his thing. Um, Keep doing that. I'm going to keep my Ember for next turn. Okay. Um, so we can Frenzied Swarm these dudes to make sure they do no damage, which is just funny. How many... I'll put this uh, train steward up here. And then... Mm, I'll play this just to see if we can get a better card. There we go. I want quick on my dude. Look at this. We give him quick. Nobody's taking damage ever again on this row. Uh, and then I might as well just daze them, even though there's no... We don't need to. 
a brief respite. We don't even need a brief respite. But... Let's try to get a card that we can use. There we go. Get rid of this. And then give my dude that. And end. I'd love to see what you're trying to bring. 1200 hit points? That's not going to do it. Trust me. I'm just going to do all of my damage to him, just as a joke. There you go, buddy. That was the biggest domination I've ever had in the game so far. Um, so, you know, it, it just really shook out well, but I think that, that our champion is getting quite strong. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't really have that many um, imps, unfortunately, to want to pick up, like, a guaranteed sacrifice and imp card. This card I can actually use on my champion. This is, these are interesting, these seals, you put them down, they take up one capacity, um, but they cost zero because of my um, forever flame, and then, you know, we can just use spells to, like, give an armor out, or to frostbite. I think armor is more important to us than spell damage at this point. Terrific. Options do we have on Ring 8 the Crucible? Look at this shoot. I wish I could ride that. It looks sweet. I guess maybe before they were like pumping lava from the scorched plains down into here to smelt. Or I don't know what's going on. Alright, so I can duplicate. Forge units, remove, money, spells, pyre. Um, I'm going to go over here for the money and the spells. Just because I don't really feel like removing any cards. And I'm curious. Um, yeah, holdover is ridiculous. So if I put, for example, holdover on Frenzied Swarm, I could like have the option to just lock down for the entire fight, <laughs> providing I am okay with discarding my hand. I could also just make Frenzied Swarm cost nothing. That's pretty attractive. Although one isn't that much, and honestly, Branding Right is too expensive at two. But if I can upgrade it to one, and then give it, um... Oh no, that's not what we want. I think actually giving a Consume to a Frozen Lance is perfect. Because in this way, we can just get rid of this card. We don't want this many Frozen Lances. If I were going to remove cards, I would actually probably remove them. It's nice that they do more damage, but not being able to pinpoint them to people in the back row uh, decreases their desirability for me. I could also put it on this and then it just deals 110 damage and it is gone. That's hilarious. Now, I think I like it here because then it makes this card actually useful. Like all the other cards have a use on their own. Um, yeah, do that. <laughs> Terrific. I don't like that sinister laugh, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to upgrade all my spells. Um, oh my god, I could remove consume. 
so you could surge stone and then eternal stone um, to kind of get the full benefit of the t the 20 power but then remove consume it does make it more expensive but then you could you could do all three of these to a card and keep it at the same cost just give it plus 20 magic power that's interesting I don't know how worth it that actually is though how many cards do I have to have consume yeah I mean I think like wildwood tomb is something that you just want on everybody rage serum also is good but this card is bananas yeah upgrade it I'm actually going to reduce Wildwood Storm as well. Where are you? Here you go. A Wildwood Tome. Yeah, let's just have it, like, be one to put quick. And then I'm going to make another Frozen Lance Insane. And this will help us thin the deck a little bit. Let me see. Is there a... Yeah, there's a place to buy um, artifacts. So I'm going to keep some money. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. That's pretty great. Grant plus four stacks of armor each time it is applied to friendly units. I actually want to try this Railhammer um, because I have this card that I picked up, um, the Guardian Stone. Still, like, if you could play this and then it's instead applying five stacks as opposed to just one each time? That sounds really good. All right. Let's go on. We're taking on Seraph. Seraph attacks every turn, applies melee weakness to your front unit, and gains rally. All right, buddy, you're gonna attack every turn fine so he does 20 damage a non morsel unit card on this floor and then he gets stronger well so he rallied because I did that and now he's going to kill my dude However, we're not going to let that happen because we can put this dude in the front. We can actually just put both of these guys right here. Um, so let me put a dude in the front. I got an idea. And then I'm going to put this guy up here. Now we actually kill all of them, but these two dudes would die. However, if I... Um, I get bonus four stacks of armor from my railhammer. If I put this guy up, now only this guy will die. Um, yeah, this is going to be really tough. But he, as long as he's not on my floor, obviously, we have a chance to really do something. So if I throw down the Guardian Stone, and then I got seven Ember because I carried over from last turn. If I throw down the Guardian Stone, I can, like, Ritual of Battle and Torch and Encant this twice to bump up the armor on all my people. Um, so I think I have to do that, right? You know what? I should have put this in the back. Um, that wasn't my best maneuver. However, I can just kill this guy. And then this guy will actually survive the 10 damage. 
with one hit point. That's hilarious. So in the future, I've never played this unit before. And I don't know why I thought, oh, it'd be good to put it in the front just to absorb damage. But no, I should put it in the back so that you can't kill it and it's just constantly able to block. So, lesson learned. Um, I'm going to put down my dude right here and pass the turn. Okay. Okay, so... I can Frozen Lance to kill this guy. Why am I dying? He has 50 health, and I only see 41 damage here. Is there something I'm missing? Oh, oh god. I take two times the combat damage. That's what it is. Okay, good lord. Um, I don't really think there's much I can do about that to keep this guy alive, considering he's already at 31. Um, he's quick, so he, he'll do his damage first, and then he'll die. Um, I could just put this, this Horned Warrior in front to take the damage. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Right. However, it will pump this guy up. And then let me, I'm going to build up the armor here by just doing Frozen Lance and um, if I crit builder, this guy stays alive. And we build up our armor even further and then I think I'll put her up here. I mean, not enough capacity. Yeah, put her here. All right. Okay. So. Can I daze the boss is the question. I'm not going to be able to see if I can or not until man I have not drawn any of these holdover cards with the proper card yet that's a shame anyway um, let's go ahead and boost up armor by putting quick on my dude by putting rage serum on my dude and then oh this guy already got dazed by my artifact. Huh. No choice. I'm gonna play it just to give armor. Now they both die. It's worth the armor. And then... I'm gonna try this. Cool. You can dazed the boss. Um, that makes that card even more insane, and I wish I had, like, 50 of them. Oh, and by the way, we do have 50 of them, because I put Holdover on this card. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm just gonna play this for the rest of the fight, and completely lock this poor bastard down. It's a good thing. Okay. So now we finally got the Offering Totem with the card that we wanted. Boom. It does pump him up, but it gives us armor, and we're going to daze him anyway.
I don't know, do I really want to enchant this guy? Not that much. I'm going to just save my energy with my um, unbroken horn and just go ahead and do this. And not enchant that guy too much. We're going to do a bunch of damage to him, like 200 something. Perfect. Alright, good. I really wanted him to go onto this floor so that I can keep maximizing these dudes. I mean, getting both of these X cards at the same time is too bad, but, uh, okay. Actually, yeah, getting X. This card does not work with the X. It's too bad. But we can just do this. I'm going to play this just to give the armor. And then I will um, frenzied storm right there. End the turn. Okay. I think it's cool to put this guy down. Why not? And then... Titan's Tooth, uh, Frenzied Storm up here sounds just totally fine. Look how much armor we've built up. How many, um, yeah, we already win. And our champion doesn't even die, but we can make it even more ridiculous by doing this. So let me, um... Yeah, Ritual of Battle. Crit Builder. Boom. Now this guy even survives. was a good one. The Frozen Heart. We made it with the pyre. These statues and tentacles are lighting up. Achievement 5, the Breaker of Horns. Maybe because we got the Hellborn to like level 5 or something? Alright, so that was Covenant Rank 1. And um... Now we got to Covenant rank 2. Ooh, now we have a bad card in our deck. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is very Hearthstone. I love it, though. I love these cosmetic things on the cards. You know, the uh, the animations for the cards, very much like Hearthstone uh, or like the Witcher card game, but it's totally cool. Love it. So now we've got these gold borders for these cards. Terrific. And um, we've unlocked the Rail Beater, who, wow, he can push people back, and he has a bunch of armor. And he only costs one with the capacity of two. That's great. This is insane. This is so good on the champion. He's light on hit points, high on damage. You can put that on him. Wow. Wow. Ascend a unit and apply days two. This is cool. So you can like just kind of get rid of a bad guy that you can't deal with, I guess. Or save your own unit's life. Not sure all the applications of that. Impsicle. At the start of turn, add a random imp unit to your hand. Yes. I love cards to add random stuff to your hand. Just makes for a, you know a varied and interesting playthrough. Oh. Cool. This must be what Matthew is talking about with the other champions that you can unlock. So now we've got the Exiled Champion, 
for this clan. You can now choose to start runs with this champion and their starter card, the Shardtail Queen. That is amazingly awesome. And we got the Stygian Guard up. Wow. Pyrebound. Interesting. So this is like only works on the upper floors, but it does a lot of damage. Sigiled Seaweed. 50% chance to apply silence when an enemy enters your terrain. That's cool. Wind streak increases. Wow, I love how it keeps track of your, you know, your wind streaks and it has all these other little achievements that are built in. Also, those musical note effects when I added cards, amazing. Yeah, the presentation on this game is really, really... I've said it so many times, but it's through the roof, in my opinion. It's so polished. Um, and they actually just did an update recently, and, are, and more is coming, and they're balancing it continuously. So it's very, very promising. If you're looking to pick up this game, um, it's on sale a lot. It's already pretty cheap, and, I mean, the amount of value I've already gotten out of it, and I, I still have clans that I haven't even unlocked. Tremendous. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Let's Play Monster Train with the Friends and Foes update alive here in September of 2020, and I'm playing my blind playthrough. I'm kind of working my way through the game um, and unlocking stuff as I go. Uh, I love how it brings in my Steam portrait, too. I'm at Covenant rank two. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try to get all the way up to the big boy rank of 25, but that's probably going to take me a while of understanding the nuance and strategy of the game. And on that note, if you understand the game well and you've got some feedback, some advice for me and for others watching, please put those in the comments below. I love to read it. I love to get better at the game. And I like to, you know, create a resource for others to use to get better as well because it's just more fun if you're winning um, in my opinion and so the more knowledge you can get the better I want to thank you all again for watching I hope you have an excellent evening or day if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed this video could you please do so I plan on making a lot more monster train content I've got Sway the Spire other roguelikes on here and a lot of other games I think you'll enjoy alright everybody take care See you in the next one.